What's going on, everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here. I'm home, finally, at the end of NAM day two. It is very late at night. It is, uh, yeah, first guitar right there. Uh, just thought I'd put that out there. Um, it is the end of day two, and today was absolutely insane as in terms of the NAM show. Uh, lots of really great interest generated for the Victory brand and for the Chapman brand. The guitars are going over incredibly well. Lots of great questions about the amplifiers as well. Something that I am absolutely thrilled to be a part of. It was tons of great activity. Got to play a ton of guitar today and that felt really good. Um, towards the end of the day, I got to go around the show floor just, you know, filling the kettle, make some tea. I know the British influence from Victory and Chapman's rubbing off, isn't it? Anyway, uh, towards the end of the day, got to go roam the show floor a little bit, film some videos for you guys with some looks at some of the cool new things. Uh, overall, what's really impressing me is not necessarily what you guys might think might be impressing me. Um, in terms of like boutique pedals and whatnot, the most impressive thing that I've seen so far uh, just comes from uh, Chase Bliss, which of course I've demoed several Chase Bliss pedals over the last year. Uh, the, warp re the, the Warped Vinyl and the Tonal Recall and uh, the new Brothers Distortion and Drive Gain Stage uh, is really something special. Sounds really, really great. Um, so hopefully when it's time for those to be coming out. You will be seeing those on a future episode of Stompbox Saturday. Um, spent Another thing that I actually was really intrigued by are the new uh, Joyo Bantamps, uh, where basically they're like microtube amplifiers that seek to emulate uh, popular amps that we all know and love. So I'm really excited to hear those and try those as well as that dual clons that you've probably seen Henning talk about uh, in the past. He came by the Victory booth. That was rather interesting. I think I had to, you know, wipe the uh, the germs off me. No offense, Henning. Nothing personal. Just a, a little weird. Just saying. Uh, but tonight was very eventful. Got to go hang out with a bunch of friends. Uh, from, you know, my bandmates to friends from out of state, friends in state, and a bunch of my gear friends that I am just super excited to see what everybody is doing. Uh, Robert Keeley and Gabriel Tenorio Strings hosted a beautiful, wonderful taco extravaganza, and I probably had some of the best tacos that I've had in my entire life. <laughs> And uh, I need some more of those. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming in the future. I don't know exactly when some of the stuff is going to be happening, but it is something that I hope you all will join to see. I want to thank all the rest of you that have kept subscribing over this NAM weekend. It means the world to me because the more of you guys that subscribe to my channel, the more cool stuff I'm able to do for all of you. And it's really all for you. You know, when I get something into review, I really take into account what I'm able to do with it. And if I can't enjoy it, you're not going to be able to enjoy it. That's the way that I look at it. So keep spreading the word. Keep those subscriptions coming. Next week, the NAM videos will start reeling out. As soon as I am able to get some stuff out, you will be seeing it and you will not regret it. This is stuff that I legitimately am interested in and I'm hoping to bring to you in more detail in the very, very near future. And there's a lot of exciting stuff coming your way. So be sure you subscribe now. Be sure you get in on the ground floor because I'm excited for 2017. It's going to be a great year. I hope you're excited for 2017. Don't believe the BS that people are putting out on social media. Stay positive, stay true, and happy stomping. Cheers, my friends.